YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution Kicks, back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, kick, smack, punch, chop, drive a car over that notification button so you know what I'm dropping, another one of these things. And always uh, do comment, like, subscribe. And yes, the views are down a little bit because what happens is that when you're not as active as you normally are, people don't check for you. But such is life. And that would be a true problem if I was expecting a check from Google all the time. But I'm here for the culture, I'm here for the love, and I'm here with another video for you guys. So you're probably wondering what is up with these three pairs of Air Jordans. What are we talking about today, the solution? And today is actually the start of something new. I told you guys about the evolution of the channel. So this is called Open Box Discussion, okay? And today's topic, on open box discussion episode one is why quick strike what's the purpose of the quick strike so after doing some research jordan brand nike has said they run the, the uh, qs if you will on certain sneakers to ensure that um people are able to get them in limited quantities so it's kind of like a, a certain amount of shoes to release is a limiting thing, but it doesn't appear to really be that way because as I can see, as you can see, there are some sneakers here that really should not have been quick strike at all. There was no reason behind it. Only one really deserved the quick strike option. And um, even that sneaker I found in another location. So we're gonna start it off to my left, to your right and discuss how the quick strike feature has failed and is really no use for it at all. So sneaker number one is a sneaker that I was really, really waiting on because the, the original Laney 5 is one of my grails, but I have not gotten a chance to get my, my hands on a, um, a dead stock pair. I might have to just settle with a nine out of 10 pair, if you will, and uh, keep it moving. But I was really, really looking forward to this, this Laney 5 JSP. Okay, and that's the George springtime release and it dropped to $200 and it was quick strike. But normally I will bypass sneakers like this, but I wanted this one so bad because the colors, if you watch the video, this colorway combination means a lot to me. It's very personal to me, so I had to have it in my collection. So um, they retailed at $200, no discounts, no coupons, none of that stuff, no customer appreciation stuff, and that's what Quick Strike does. The, the store will get all of their money, flat out. You're paying $200 plus tax, or whatever the price of the sneaker is regardless. And as you know, right now, you can get this sneaker for 109, 119. Do I have buyer's remorse from it? Not really, because I just wanted this sneaker when it dropped. And we're gonna talk about, so what happens if you don't quick strike the sneaker? Next up is a solid example of why you shouldn't quick strike a sneaker. I was waiting on this sneaker, I believe it was uh, 2017 when it dropped. I love the wheat colorway, I love Timberlands, I love Flax, I have the, the Flax Air Force ones high and the lows. I don't have the mids, one day I will put those in the collection as well. But when I found out um, Jordan Brand was dropping a, uh, a wheat golden harvest, if you will, Jordan 1, I had to have these and I found out they were quick strike and I was like, oh, man, why? Matter of fact, um, shout out to my homegirl Renee at Foot Locker. This was my first time interacting with her and I got them anyway. I had to have these, I like them. But months later, not even months later, a probably about three to four weeks later, they went on sale. And I was like, why? If you quick strike these things, then they showed up in outlets dropping all the way down to $79. I seen them as low as $79. Um, pardon the lighting just adjusted, uh, something happened with my, now it's adjusting again. I don't know what's going on with my key light for a second, it's, it's actually pulsing for some reason. I'm gonna have to look into that. But anyway, um, if you saw me get light and dark, I prefer it look just like this. Well, this um, sneaker dropped all the way down to $79 at outlets. This sneaker was in, I'm telling you, it was a whole rack of these things. And that's when I had buyer's remorse. I really did, I was like, dad, you know, I should have probably waited for the sneaker, but you, you like things when you like them and you want to get them when you get them. Now, a good reason when Quick Strike works, if you want to justify its existence, is the Jordan 4 Raptor. This was in limited quantities. Um, 
it retailed at $200. I didn't think it was a $200 sneaker because of a lot of the uh, the flaws on it. You know, well, the, the, the craftsmanship, if you will. A lot of glue spray, um, you know, pop lacings and things like that. In my opinion, it just was not worthy of that $200. But they did quick strike and it did work. However, it did hang around for a little bit. It did hang around for a little bit after people realized that this sneaker was not really well made for um, what they wanted for it. So, what's your opinion on Quick Strike? Is there a need for it? Is it is it greed? Um, has it worked for you to ensure that you get the sneaker? And I'm just going to give you my opinion on it. I don't think it really has a place. I think it's unneeded, and it's just a uh, a tool that the corporate agencies of these sneaker um, uh, sellers. Uh, are using to ensure that you pay max price on the shoe. Um, I'm, I'm a good proponent of be patient. And right here, I was not patient with this sneaker. I was not patient with this one, but I was patient with this one. And I had no idea I was gonna see it in the outlet, but I did like it, but I did not think it was worth $200 for the things that I saw on the shoe when I saw it in hand. Online, it can mislead you. And once again, I'm gonna say it until they get it right, use, quality cameras when you're putting out these uh, first look pictures because it, you're doing the consumer a disservice. Once you get it in hand, it's like, oh man, it actually looks better. Or you're like, oh man, these are crappy. These aren't well made. And um, there's nothing wrong with the craftsmanship on this sneaker at all. If you take care of this sneaker, it's gonna look dope. This is one of the ultimate fall wintertime sneakers right here. If you're like me and you love the Timberland, this is a good um, alternative. I rocked these a whole lot this past fall. And it came with the cool corded laces and stuff like that. This sneaker right here, a lot of people didn't like it because they felt like, what's the point of this if we already have the, the original lanes? Just drop the original lanes. Well, when I saw the original ladies, I wanted them to do this. Now, people didn't like the cement in the midsole, but they kind of wanted the sneaker to stand off on its own. And what's crazy is that now the sneaker's gone on sale, people are buying them. So maybe that's one of the effects of the quick striking process that uh, makes it work. But I'm still not a, uh, a, you know, somebody that says, hey, do it. I think they should get rid of it. Even the um, NRG is another this was an nrg sneaker as well it there's no point of it all right most people don't even understand the process of that it doesn't make sense it's just they tag certain sneakers and they feel like there's going to be some hype on it and people can go after it and if we do certain things with marketing wise it'll build up the demand for the sneaker and people will want them i, I think it's backfired across the board pretty much except for this one somewhat but this was clearly a um a marketing fail even though I this is a dope sneaker to me I don't care what you say you can't tell me otherwise because like I said this sneaker has sentimental value I don't want to beat on my chest because the mic um, it has sentimental value to me because of the colorway and you, you like what you like and you buy what you buy but I just encourage you implore you to make solid uh, purchasing decisions out here right now I have not really if you watch my channel, it slowed down because I haven't really seen anything that's really speaking to me. The last sneaker I saw that I was like, I have to have those is the, uh, what well, were the um, the black cement fours or the bread fours. That's an iconic sneaker. I had to have that. That's from my generation and stuff like that. But that that's clearly something that, but the snake skins, all that stuff. I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Those are sneakers that I, I have a feeling I'm gonna see later on at a lower price. Um, I'm already seeing the uh, the pink snake skins pop up as returns, as returns, not a full run, but as returns at outlets. Cause once people get shoes in hand, sometimes they're like, uh, man, I was being frivolous. These don't look as cool as I thought they were, but it's all about making sound purchasing decisions. And um, you know, as we move along to the end of this video, what triggered this video? I had a conversation on Instagram um, and it wasn't even, uh, my my Instagram at all. It was uh, another sneaker. His um, sneaker YouTubers Instagram. Can't remember his name. Um, but they were talking about the quick strike thing and stuff like that. And he said, "Hey, the solution." Didn't you mention something about that briefly? I said, "Yeah," but I didn't go into it. So that I can't remember the guy's name I was talking to, but he has a channel as well. But this was months ago. I said I probably need to do a video on this because this is kind of my style of sneaker YouTube where I get informative. 
But yes, this is Open Box Discussion 1. Comment, like, subscribe. Let's chop it up in those comments and tell me what you think about the quick strike process. Is it needed? Is it obsolete? Should we just tell this bombard Nike corporate office and say, stop doing that? You're just being greedy or uh, the foot lockers and things like that. And tell them like, this, this shoe goes on sale after you do it, all right? A another good, well, before I close this out, let me back up for a second. Another good example of a, a pure quick strike fail, and this is probably the ultimate quick strike fail that we're experiencing right now, is the uh, Tinker 3 Air Max. That shoe retailed at 225, and now it's on sale. I'm seeing 179, 189, all right? And because that shoe was on the high end of a, a, a sneaker purchase, and it was a general release, it was not limited. It was a general release. That sneaker is everywhere. And they realized, you know something, nobody's buying this shoe because you can't get a discount on it. And it's kind of pricey, if you will. Um, it's, it's a reseller uh, prices already. It's close to that 250 mark that most people go for on the resale market. And it's, it's a failure for the resellers. I'm not defending you guys by any manner, but that if you know the market, you probably should have avoided that sneaker. But they're trying to get rid of that sneaker. And as a sneaker, I'm simply waiting on. I had a chance to purchase that sneaker no less than three times. Um, it was gonna be a gift. I declined because I had a feeling that that sneaker was gonna go on sale. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. I got a feeling that sneaker is gonna show up at the outlets for about 159 really soon. Trust me. If it hasn't hit your outlets already, it is on its way because that sneaker is a failure. As dope as it is, all right? That's a sneaker when you see it on picture, you're like, eh, I don't know. A lot of people made some money off sneaker YouTube because they were putting negative reviews out there. And that's their brand of sneaker YouTube. I'm not knocking you for that. That's your stick. If you follow them because you like that stuff, great. But, um, a lot of things that they said did come to fruition with that sneaker. I do like the option of um, being able to swap out the swooshes that it's not new at all if you know your sneakers. Lotto, an Italian uh, soccer sneaker maker, they also did um, cheerleading shoes, used to have the removable logos, you can change the colors and stuff like that. So that's not new for Nike Jordan brand. If you're young, you're probably like, oh, that's cool. Now nah, that's, that's late 80s stuff right there, all right, when I was a kid. But I do think that was cool. But did it make the sneaker worth $225? No, not at all, not even close. But yeah, that right now, that is a, a pretty much an in-progress case study of why they should not quick strike sneakers. But I am a solution, solution for kicks. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. Just drop the exclamation mark. And comment, like, subscribe. And look, I'm dropping these things a little bit more, y'all. But adulting, okay, remember that. When you're my age, you have other responsibilities and um you do priorities but i do like the fact you check in check out the videos and i'm out of here boom the solution